Oh my god! Oh, the sea levels have risen again! Oh no, I thought I had more time. I'm just looking at the ruins that- Oh god! <sighs> Good morning, mate, and welcome to probably one of the dumbest civilization games you'll ever see. I spent about three hours last night manually going through on a tiny map to create what you're about to see. I actually really enjoy Gathering Storm, like I've gotten back into Civ after just not really feeling it for a while, and I've honestly been loving it. I figured, you know, it's not good enough that you can just sink a couple of coastal tiles. So I built my own map. Which, if you haven't modded Civ, modding Civ is a pain in the ass. It is really slow to do. This took some time. And everyone is here, I'm playing as Noi. We got the Aussies, the Indians, we got the Yanks, we got the British, and we've got the Maori. There's quite an obvious reason I'm playing Norway. Well, let's get into this. Uh, we don't need this, get out of here. Giant death robots, who cares? Who really needs anything except for shit? Oh, for f- That's uh, fine, I moved onto a hill, whatever, it'll be alright. Anyway, I'll settle next turn. But, the thing I wanted to show off is if we go into settle a view, Every single tile in this map will eventually flood. Everything's gonna go underwater. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> Thing is, I've even set it so the mountains can go underwater. I have no idea what's gonna happen when they do. The game might just crash. I'll be entirely honest. I'm amazed the game's already running. I've got multiple, like, world wonders that are gonna sink under the ocean. I could also make the ocean sink under the ocean. I have no idea how this is going to work, but let's find out. Now, there is one strategy I'm going to bring up. So obviously the world is eventually going to sink, so we're going to lose all the resources on the world. However, cities in this game don't sink, even if, they, uh, even if their tile gets flooded. So actually, the one thing that we can do is if we find coal, we have to settle a city on the coal. Otherwise, we won't be able to get the coal or like whatever once the world has actually begun to sink. What the? I, my guys walked out onto this little peninsula and the barbarians built a camp on the bloody gap. Are you kidding me? Well, I killed him. That was pretty bloody easy. Oh yeah, this will also go underwater. Still no idea what's actually going to happen when that occurs. I've also made it so like lakes can go underwater and stuff. Look, this may just crash the entire game when they start going underwater. Hmm, I wonder if God of the Sea is going to be any use to us. Let's just maybe take that Pantheon. See, we've settled on diamonds, and as such, we are actually getting the luxury resource, and had the waves risen, we would have lost those diamonds. That's a sort of another thing I've realized, is that we're gonna have to rush to put as many cities down as possible, but stop the opponents from putting as many cities down as possible, because, uh, basically all that's gonna be left is cities after a while. John Curtin. I speak for the people of Australia oh. as their Prime Minister. M my we seek sympathetic uh, uh, allies uh, uh, in the uh, fight against uh, the hawks of war. I've never actually heard him speak. I've just always played as him. Oh, I can hear it. You'll come a waltzing Matilda with me. I don't really want to leave. I'm quite liking this. Like, his voice was a little weird. It was... It was on the edge of British, but I guess he was sort of, you know, towards the uh, start of Australia, but... I, I just... I, it feels like I'm back home, to be honest. I don't really want to leave. Alright, enough of that didge. It was on to meet you, mate. Oh, some roasted macadamia nuts. Oh, I'd love some. I'd love to sample your hospitality. Oh, look, it's Canberra. Oh, God, is Canberra bigger than me? Oh, God, it is. Oh, I think they're on, like, the mainland that I was looking at. Oh, man, Canberra's doing much better than me. Alright, we might be friends with the Aussies, but I'm afraid we're gonna have to raid someone, because we're not doing too good. Wait, what? Why? Can I hear the Australian music? Oh god, no. Conduct yourself well. you uh, Teddy. Friend. Teddy, you're lagging. What's happening, dude? <laughs> but no, we need to raid someone, so I know where I'm sending my long ships. I need America's oil, damn it. America's just declared war on Australia? Okay, that's not gonna do. Let's go to the defense of Australia. Rally my ships. Why can I hear- This is definitely Australian music. Like, that's a didgeridoo. I just heard Waltzing Matilda! Why can I- I'm Norway, what? <laughs> I'm gonna join your ongoing war against Teddy Roosevelt. Wait, what? <laughs> Hang on. He wouldn't let me join his war unless he got to pay me a dollar. 
See, he can't accept this, but a dollar, he'll take it. <laughs> I'm a cheap whore. <laughs> All right, let's go to war. Warmonger penalties? I don't care. Declare war on America. Oh god, I declared a war and Gandhi immediately showed up. Uh, I feel like this is fate. Jesus, we're gonna get 17.6 gold a turn from a trade route to Canberra? What the fuck? <laughs> yes? That's a- why is that so good? Oh right, I can just take New Orleans. Oh my god, it almost fell immediately. Damn, I'm gonna capture this quick. Oh, back to a golden age. We're beautiful and bright. Lovely. Actually, it's heroic, isn't it? Yeah, goddamn. All right, time to choose a religion. So we obviously want one of the sea, and we're just gonna name it, uh... The Deep Gods Rise Again. The Deep Gods Rise Again is the one true path of salvation. Please ignore all the other ones. <laughs> I like the little crab in the book. That's great. War can only bring us loss. Aww. Loss of lives. Aww. Loss of productivity. Loss I'm sorry, Johnny. I'll, I'll stop going to war, despite the fact I joined your bloody war! Alright, it's peace with Teddy. He's gonna give us New Orleans and we can have peace. There we go. What a lovely little war. Thanks for keeping the peace on the continent. <laughs> <laughs> so if you don't know, the way Teddy's AI works in this game is that if you're peaceful and on his continent, he likes you. So I went to war with him took one of his cities on his continent and then made peace, which meant I was peaceful on his continent and he le therefore likes me now. Good job, Teddy. I think I may have given you brain damage in that war. You know, the more I explore, I'm pretty sure I may have accidentally bugged the map so that no city-states spawned, which is kind of unfortunate, but, ah well, that's what I'm just gonna have to deal with. with Hello, issue. Galapagos. Yeah, so we got a problem with these lads. They're also gonna go underwater. I set them so they'd get drowned as well. So, I'm uh, not sure how that's going to be handled. Jesus, look at the yields around the- I gotta send a settler here. This looks amazing. We've settled the Galapagos. This is brilliant. The thing is, we can also now start to expand out from here and take this land. But this point just here isn't affected by the loyalty in, uh, in- it's called England. Oh my god, I've discovered the Isle of Horses. Hold on a second. Anyway, these yields shouldn't disappear even as the world begins to go underwater. So this is going to be an amazing city, actually. I don't know why, but this music that's playing right now really makes me want to go play Dwarf Fortress. God damn, I can't wait till that releases on Steam. Mm. Australia has denounced the evil deeds of India. Oh god, Australia, what are you doing? <gasps> there we go, there's some coal. Alright, oh, some coal here too. Okay, right, so we gotta settle two cities on this continent to get that delicious coal. And that means that we'll be able to produce coal even as we start to sink the world. I'm tempted to wait until I get flood barriers, but that means everyone else will get a chance to get them too. And I really want to start sinking the world nice and early. I want to see everything go underwater. Oh, bloody- How do I never escape Waltzing Matilda in this game? God, I love it. Waltzing Matilda with me. Waltzing Matilda, Waltzing Matilda. You come a Waltzing Matilda with me. Holy shit, Gandhi is about to win Hinduism. Like, he's about to win a religious victory. Oh my god, Gandhi, stop. I'm gonna have to kill you. I'm gonna have to actually go to war with Gandhi. All right, Gandhi, promise not to convert my cities. <gasps> Gandhi broke his promise and kept converting my cities. Oh, this means war, Gandhi. This means war. And I've built the Venetian arsenal. Oh yeah. So, uh, that's quite nice. The reason why that's quite lovely is I can now build double the ships, and, uh, considering this world is about to be covered in water, that's gonna be pretty good. Oh, condemning heretics feels so good. Yes, get out of my cities. Hey, there goes the first coal power plants. This is a great era. We're killing the Indians, burning them all as heretics, and invading their lands. Gandhi's willing to give me the Ark of the Covenant. Nah, sorry mate. Um, uh, I'm still gonna keep bombarding ya. Ah, oh, climate change begins. Nice. We do actually have a lot of polar ice, so 10%'s probably already a decent chunk, yeah. Can't wait for the first bits to go underwater though. I have plans once that happens, but until then I'm just gonna keep fighting in the bloody mountains. I will make all of this an ocean, you bastards! Oh, I think I'm finally breaking the stalemate at Bangalore. I need some goddamn torpedoes. So there's a weird thing I've been thinking about while I've been fighting this war. In Civ 6, they don't let you rename the default religions. So if one has, uh, for example, Catholicism, you can't rename it. You can't uh, rename Hinduism. And, you know, it, it makes sense because they're sort of afraid you'll go, oh, you know, you rename Islam to terrorism and then they'll get a Kotaku uh, article written about them. Or, you know, you'll rename uh, Catholicism to Cardinal Pell's a child molester. And then, you know, they'll have to admit the truth. But, uh... I find it a little weird, because it'd be much easier to say, like, ah, oh, yes, 
I'm waging holy war on, you know, the the boat Mormons than it would be to say that I'm currently slaughtering Hindus in order to stop them from winning the game. Because that's what I'm doing. I'm slaughtering Hindus to stop them from winning the game. In fact, I just launched an Inquisition, um, which the people loved, and there was cheers and stuff. So, yeah. <laughs> just kind of weird. <laughs> Took until now for me to realize, hmm, this probably doesn't sound great on recording, does it? Oh, God. Oh, the sea levels have risen for the first time. Oh, no. Okay. Uh, the flooding begins. Uh, how many turns until computers? Okay. It's actually gonna be a little while until I can build flood barriers. Can we maybe slow it down? Can I maybe turn all of my stuff off? Oh, bugger me. I can't even stop the CO2 anymore because it's coming from all the sieves. Oh, this is about to get really bad. I need to discover oil and I need to stop and I need to get like a flood bear. Oh, we're all gonna die. Oh, this is bad. This is bad. This is bad. Oh my god. Oh, the sea levels have risen again. Oh no, I thought I had more time. I'm just looking at the ruins that- Oh god! That's permanent flooding. Yep. Oh, nine turns until we can get flood barriers. I shouldn't have started the bloody apocalypse so early. Everything is just going underwater. Oh no. Is, is oh my god. You tell them to do? Yes! Ah, oh, we can begin the construction of flood barriers, please save us. Oh my sweet Jesus. Oh, it's based on the number of coastal lowlands and the current sea level. Oh no. No. This is never gonna get built. Oh my god, no, that one has 998 turns until it's done. Is there nothing that will survive? Not even the Galapagos. Gee, I, okay, Stavanger is the best bet, but there's just no way to do this. It's time to stop clinging to the past and move to the water world of the future. Enough of this. It's time to start building battleships and boats and going to town. Because you see, everything is passable by Navy now. So, uh, very soon the entire world will be an ocean. And I intend to conquer it. Oh, and of course, Gandhi's gonna lose all of his holy sites. So he won't be able to make any more apostles and stuff. And so I will just win as long as I can resist for a few more turns. Yes, it begins. Everyone has their weapons of mass destruction set equal to the target player's Gandhi. I sure as hell hope he doesn't have nukes yet. Oh yeah, all the cities are starting to starve and run out of housing. Everything's going bad, but as long as we can have battleships, well, Boston's getting hit by a bloody volcano again. But as long as we've got our battleships, we'll be fine. I like that I've just recruited this builder as if like, Hey dude, just so you know, the world is going completely underwater. Can you maybe like, I don't know, stop it? Oh my god, my towns are starting to bloody well rebel. Come on! Can I catch a break, please? I mean, I may have created this world, but it's not entirely my fault. Although, look at this. Oh, India is ripe for the picking. This is gonna be delicious when our fleet rolls up. Oh yes. This world is such a mess. Oh my god. I can't wait till the, the mountains go under as well. I wonder what it's gonna look like. I hope it's just purely water then. It's just Anno with a bunch of cities scattered on water. Hang on, the mountains are flooded now. Wait, hang on, what does it look like? Oh god, that is weird. They're just like like really ruined mountains. What the hell? That is, that's kind of cool. But alright, they aren't submerged yet. Those are just flooded. Can we put boats on? Okay, no, you, know, you can only put them on submerged. Alright, gotcha. Here we go, just an ironclad fleet rolling into Hyderabad. Oh my god, it begins. Now here's a fun fact. I can't actually invade this city with my destroyer because it's technically not a coastal city. Like, it's become one, but it's still not letting me attack it as far as I can see. Oh, here's my spy, by the way. So I wonder if I call in like just a unit, can I just park him up and walk in? I I'll probably be able to just capture it immediately, surely. Yeah, see, Amphibious Assault works just fine, but it wasn't counting as a uh, coastal city. That's a bit weird. Send in the Amphibious Assault, and brilliant. Get through to Hinduism, apparently, but also raise the city. <sighs> and a submarine just launched a missile at an elephant. <laughs> what world are we in? <laughs> oh my god, he's gone. Get out of here, Gandhi. Oh yes, and we're at full submersion. There's only six tiles that are flooded. How are they still flooded? With a hundred, sorry, with 1,065 
completely submerged. My god, look at the terrain. This is brilliant. This took so long to make and it's so bad. Why did I do this? <laughs> oh god. Well, Gandhi's dead. Uh, I'm just gonna leave Hyderabad. I don't really care about... I guess I can throw a governor in here. I don't really care. But hey, there we go. That has been sinking the entire world. Actually doing it this time. I'm kind of impressed, like, how just, how it actually works. I, like, I'm amazed the mountains could even sink. Wait, what happened to all the natural wonders in my territory? Hey, look, these ones, right, okay. Oh, I see the needles have just, like, sort of got, just got water in them now. Oh, I think they might have actually stopped working, though. You can still see them, so that, but they're not actually giving their bonus, maybe? I think? Somewhere up here was, like, that little, oh, God, Melbourne's gonna rebel, what? To, to the Americans, maybe? I don't know. But somewhere around here was that, like, pink sea that's one of the wonders. I think that's actually gone underwater. I'm just impressed it didn't crash, honestly. Anyway, thank you all for watching. This has been recording for ages. I'm not going to, like, run down every last city because it's literally just going to be me, you know, navally attacking cities for the next two hours. I think I'm good. This is, uh... This is very silly. <laughs> I, I should have, if I was actually going to try and win this properly, I should have rushed flood barriers and stopped anyone that was making, uh, it's called CO2, because if I'd actually managed to get flood barriers up, I would still have a functioning empire, and it wouldn't be taking, like, 13 turns. Oh, sorry, not even 13, it would take, like, 30 turns right now to build a battleship. Never mind, more like 70. Anyway, thank you all for watching, I've been Rumi. Until next time, farewell. <laughs>